we get a little heated when sports come out. Uh, mm-hmm. Basketball's always been fun, hasn't it? Like we 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 enjoy. I play better defense than I do offense. You obviously play a lot better offense than I do, uh, and certainly play defense pretty well too. Why is it? And maybe you can explain this. When we play basketball, or at least used to be when we were kids, why did it always get so heated between us? Because you're fat and you wouldn't move. <laughs> 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 like on the same team? No, no. Uh, it was usually like one on one. No, it's because like if I missed a shot, I knew I wasn't gonna get a rebound because your fat ass would just sit in the paint, and then you would just like you you would just back me up, and then like I'd have to take it. It wasn't fun. It was stupid. It was the Imagine dumbest game we I ever played. When your tiny little wiry butt was running around me in circles and draining threes when I couldn't get near you. And then I was I mean, gassed by three points in and you're just running circles around. Me. Well, I mean, that's I why know. we had the lineman pickup games. Did we ever do uh, like track and field? Did we ever do like a heavy man? Uh, what do they call that? Yeah, like a heavy man relay? relay. That man relay. We did. Me and Josh did. And then we did the lawn jump once. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'll never forget. You want to talk about funny sports stories? Bobby, do you remember Coach Garcia challenging me to oh run my around God. the track? Please <laughs> tell me you remember this. <laughs> Listen to that little giggle. He absolutely remembers this. <laughs> oh okay, my God. Look at this. Wrestling coach, right? Right in his mouth, like all wrestling coaches do to football players. Listen to Bobby go, man. He's dying. George, you don't remember that. I vaguely remember. Is it wasn't it like ice cream or something? Didn't cream. He... Hang on. That was the deal, right? I, I, I've never <laughs> seen a fat guy move so fast for an ice cream cone in my Bobby, life. Don't ruin the story. Let me tell it. Let me tell it. So <laughs> we we're playing uh I it's right after football season, I'm pretty sure. I'm burning. Uh, coach Garcia, the wrestling coach, is running his mouth talking about football <laughs> players not being tough enough or not fast enough. I don't remember what it was. But basically, I chimed in and said, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? And Garcia said, what do you mean? And I said, if I make it around that track in under, I don't know, let's say, what? why are you calling time out? Time out. Josh, you did not do it that subtle. Well, come on. You you oh, went oh, into oh, a whole sorry. spiel like you normally do about how <laughs> how great you are. <laughs> how Granted, great I, I had no it. faith in you at all. I'll be honest. I had no faith. This right. dude was okay. cocky as shit when he brought this up. Because he it was in the middle of weight. He didn't think we could do it. He was like, you're fat and slow and you won't. You can't do it. I was like, watch me. Watch me. Tell me I can't again. Watch me. And it, so it was like a minute, a minute 15, I think is what I had to do it in. No, a minute. Under a minute. I do remember that. And you got it. Oh, that's even better. Under a minute? No, sir. Sh- you got it up. in 59 seconds. You barely beat it. He said, you can't make it around that track in a minute. And he said, and he goes, I'll bet you an ice cream cone. It was and not that, an ice cream cone. It was a strawberry uh, it's strawberry uh, shortcake cake. or cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, stra- no, yeah, strawberry cheesecake uh, shake from Bogies is what it was. And I Either challenged way. that man. And so here's what happened, right? I line up, I line up on the starting line and I take off running and I'm in my gym clothes, which includes a pair of cheap, like Walmart, like tennis shoes. And I'm running in these big old floppy shoes. And I promise you, Within 75 feet of the start line, they fall off. So he now I'm run running barefoot shoes. in my socks, okay? <laughs> I'm running in my socks. But there is a bogey shake on the line here, okay? And I am a chubby buddy through <laughs> and I'm not going to miss out on that shake opportunity. A free shake is something that does not get missed out on. Okay, so I round the corner, okay? We're around the corner, and I'm booking it, okay? I am hustling. 
Man, I've got speed, I've got stamina, and I know. Okay, nothing is stopping me. And everybody's cheering, okay? At this point, everybody recognizes I want this. Okay. Hey, and before I you know, keep going, before you keep you know, going. I'm on the straightaway, right? And I'm booking it. Long legs, and I'm he didn't hear me. People are like, go, Tommy, go. Right? Get around the corner, and they're starting to watch the clock, right? And it's starting to come down to the wire. It's four late forties, and I'm around on that edge. And I mean, they are cheering coaches like they are counting it down to the wire. And I crossed the line at what time did you say, Bobby? Like 59 seconds. But 59 what was the, like the funniest? Seven seconds. The funniest part of that thing is that <laughs> Coach Garcia halfway around, he goes, man, that boy is moving for some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I literally crossed the finish line. Walk 30 feet and then puke in the grass because <laughs> I was like, it was way too much for me. Hold my ribs, I can't breathe for like 20 minutes. But I think he I lays like five bucks on his belly. I got my ice cream. You but the funniest right. part, the only thing I could think of while you were explaining this is when Dranling would say, Fat in motion tends to stay in motion. <laughs> so get your fat in motion. That's what he would say to me. But Josh time. was the most the ad, most agile lineman that we had. You wouldn't guess it because I was the slowest of us. Yeah, but I My think that time like was the slowest of our starting linemen. But there's difference between like 40 yards and football yards. Like yep. football speed is different than, you know, just like track and field speed. Yep. So, yeah, you would always be the guard that was pulling because they knew you could get out fast. I loved it, dude. It, yeah. ah, it my favorite thing to do. Get out <laughs> dude, do you remember? Do you remember when Josh was center for that game? Because Getty got suspended. Oh, he got hurt. Hideous no, he got, he got suspended. Hurt. No, because he did some dumb shit, alarm. like pulled the fire alarm or some shit. Oh, oh that's Hewlett right. The fire alarm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that was I the first game of the game. <clears throat> first game of the season, it's wasn't terrifying. it? That's what earned me my starting job, though. I started guard after that. His fuck, he'd hold that ball out like this. Uh, I don't know you'd give us, you'd really give us a good yard good. and a half from the neutral zone, from where that ball actually spotted. You'd stretch nice. that son bitch out. <laughs> and I don't, yeah, I don't know how you got it back with that straight arm. They took. Oh, that was how it. That's how they taught me to do it. They said straight arm, and then just pull it, pull it into your body, and with your other hand pop. Hmm. And the hand pop, you know. Oh, was it? Did it feel weird? Did it feel weird with Wes Kimmel's hand on your chode? Uh, here's the thing about Wes. Wes, Wes was an under Tucker. Okay, like Blaine. On the other hand, Blaine would just kind of put up right next to you. He didn't want to touch you. That's it. But Wes had this weird. I don't know. It felt invasive. <laughs> Okay, it was a little invasive, but Wes and I built a relationship, and it was okay. After a while. You had to. <laughs> he, like, he would like up under, okay? So like, I would be. How do I say this appropriately? I would be resting on his wrist. If that makes sense. Jesus. And I'd snap the ball and he'd pull it right out. And I'd, yeah, he's I'd in go. there. What's uh, weird is that he would make it even weirder in the thing, huddle, though. Honest to goodness. As as ridiculous as it sounds, we never once had a messy handoff. Well, no, he's it, fucking he's wrist like, deep in it. Golly. It was secure. It just we were a lot closer afterwards. Love you, Wes. Mm. Wherever you are, buddy. but in the huddle, he would make it even weirder because he'd be like, Hey, my hands are really warm. <laughs> <laughs> Because I remember I had to come in for center like I at, you in the fourth that. quarter, in the fourth uh, quarter because Getsy's shoulder was jacked. Yeah. So so instead of him getting hurt before the uh, playoffs, Dryling would always send my ass in there. I was like, dude, I haven't snapped a ball since fifth grade. <laughs> I <I'm> miss. <sighs> I remember I remember we were in a huddle and fucking uh, so like with the R's and L's were. We were like you would face the quarterback, right? So we were at the front line. So the quarterback's here, the fullback R and L, and then the line was around the back. Wes fucking comes up and he's like, he's like Throck. I was like, what's up? He's like, it's on my finger. So he fucking puts it out there like that. And I was like, okay. He's like, yeah, that's gets today. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess I don't know. Getsy had some stench going on or something. I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wes, Wes was a character. I really want to attribute episode to Wes because that guy always had a smile on his face. That's what I loved about that guy. Like he, he, he was always smiling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen him like pissed off. They he got yelled at a lot positive. too, and he was still smiling. Like Drowling got pissed positive. off because his smile. Even when we were down, when we were struggling. Really, he only lost what one game as a quarterback with us central uh, no he was junior i don't know senior year, so he would have lost Mays and he was a starter his junior and senior year with us yeah yeah i thought he was a, a sophomore when we were seniors no no oh. was Who a sophomore we when we were juniors wasn't he uh we had our year we had bobby ragoza wes kimmel and blaine blaine never played quarterback like in varsity Blaine Wells? Yeah, he didn't play quarterback. No, it was no, Bobby Rogoza. He was our third string backup. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> Trying to take the quarterback. So now we had Sellers our sophomore year. Yeah. yeah. Who Sellers was our junior was year? year? Junior year, it was so Sellers was because the one I snapped to. And then it wasn't it wasn't West Sellers right off the bat because he was playing both there. sides of the ball. He was playing like nine or like a outside linebacker, and then he would play quarterback. But it was Bobby Rogoza and somebody else. Outside of outside of West. Well, in my opinion, it was always Jordan. Yeah. Jordan was the guy they were gonna go to if West went down. Did we have another one? I know Did Blaine. I know Blaine, Blaine was Wells quarterback. Blaine Wells. Blaine and Bobby Blaine. Ragoza. Bobby Ragoza. Was uh Cooper. Um oh, Brent Cooper Ryder. Brent Cooper Ryder. Wasn't he like a backup quarterback? No, he was a no. cornerback with safety. Yeah. But I when he was playing for Haven. Well. He was playing for Haven. I thought he was a quarterback. Oh, I don't know. He was. He was oh, and then his and then Drowling's son, Drowling's son was uh, also a quarterback. Yeah. Grant. Yeah, that'd have been after Grant West. West. <clears throat> it was during West too, wasn't it? Well, I think our senior year. Grant was Grant a freshman. Was our senior no, year. yeah, because I remember JV. Grant was our quarterback in JV. Yeah. And we didn't play when he was there because he was our, he was a freshman when we were seniors. Our junior or senior year there. Yeah, so he yeah. was a great under Wes. Oh, okay. Man, time flies when you're having fun. Sure yeah. does. Man. What's on the agenda for today? Well, you've got jerky. I've got beef. Well, you've got beef sticks. I've got beef sticks. What what, what flavor are you snacking on, Jordan? Uh, We just ate original, and I had peppered earlier. Oh, this Ooh. peppered beef sticks. Here's an empty wrapper of pepper. That don't get your wood wet. Did you, where were you going to say, Josh? My bad. You ate the whole package while we were sitting here, you chubby buddy. No. No, here's the original. That's what I was snacking on. Oh, okay. I got uh, one left because Liv ate one. one stick left in that one. But Liv ate one. I ate two. And there's one extra. Oh, okay. There's that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Get Where, do you like pepper? Do you like pepper? I ate all four of them. Holy shit, you I'm, got loud. I love you. I'm encouraging you. Who did? You I'm did. I'm just laughing at you. I got loud? All of a sudden. Well, maybe it was next time. Mm-hmm. Jordan, peppered <laughs> or original? Which one are you going with first? Peppered. Oh. Of the sticks or of the jerky? The sticks. Ooh. Peppered sticks. Peppered sticks for sure. Yes. This is my last pack. I know the, the hot sticks have been really good. They're not hot enough for me, but they still taste See, good. That's why I like them. They're not. They're not too hot. Yeah, I like it. I like. <clears throat> I, like I want hot that hot. I want that hot to have like a skull and crossbones on it, like hot topping. Like that, stay that away. Peppered though, man. Mm. Mm. The pepper is where it's at. The pepper sticks are good. Yeah, I've got a couple teriyakis upstairs. Have you guys tried teriyaki? Uh -uh. Uh -uh, That wasn't in the package. No. Oh. Teriyaki and bacon jalapeno wasn't in there. Mm. Yeah, bacon bacon jalapeno. jalapeno. Yeah, they haven't released that one yet. Mm. That one I think is going to be fire. I hope so. Teriyaki's probably good too, though. Shop with uh, Bo while you're on the trip this weekend. Oh, I'm sure. Good. 
good. Yeah, he'll come up. I think he's going to come up two thirty. I got to meet him up in Legends at the casino. Are you going to gamble? No, we're just. I'm just parking my car there, so they don't have to drive through Leavenworth on the way. Ah, Smart. so. Well, while you guys are watching the game, everybody else uh, who doesn't have any beef jerky needs to go visit www.feedonprimal.com and use code CHUBBY, C-H-U-B-B-Y, for 15% off. That's in your entire order. For six flavors, you're going to get free shipping if you get all six bags because you're going to spend more than 50 bucks at that point. Yeah, yeah. But we always yeah. recommend getting six flavors. Yeah, if it's your first time trying it, get all six flavors, treat yourself, and realize it was the right choice and then make your own rankings and send them to us because we want to know because we're like divided up in here it's bacon jalapeno at number one for me me and jordan are pretty close yeah i was just looking at that so the only thing that we have different is bacon everybody jalapeno. else is number one but i'm bacon jalapeno all the way now if we were doing beef sticks it would be a total different toss-up yeah it would. i agree mm-hmm. I agree. We need to make a list for beef sticks. Well, when I try them all, we will. Yeah, good call. Because once I get that bacon jalapeno one, mm, I think that one's going to be the best for me. Isn't that what it know. is for you now? No, of the beef sticks. I know, but of the jerky is beef sticks. But isn't that what no, you're... Yeah, I just think bacon jalapeno is going to win out for both. Because it's Ooh. such a good flavor. I don't know. That pepper is... That's going to be that hard to top. That pepper is really good. That peppered beef stick is so much The pepper better. in the beef stick seems like it's right, more I prominent than in the jerky. What's he doing? Go get more. <laughs> Fatty. <laughs> but no, if you have not tried their beef jerky, I highly suggest ordering it. At least try all six packages. And if you don't like them, somebody in your house is going to love it. Or send them to me. Yeah, or if not, you can send them to me. <laughs> we'll see what Josh is doing. Oh, he's probably getting beef sticks. He can't take it no more after watching Jordan and I eating it. Which one are you eating? Pepper. Oh, yeah. I don't know how you still have any left, Bobby. I ate those. I was things. milking this last package. I got one stick left. Mm. But Jamie yeah. thought they were too peppery, and she's high. No, they, they could even be more peppery because it's so. Oh, you good. got you got bush apple there. Oh yeah, it's a, it tastes so fucking good with these with these beef sticks. Mm-mm-mm. Bush Sweet apple. The rescue. Which one you got? Sweet and spicy. Mm. See, since sweet and spicy, my jerky was number one. The beef stick is probably last so far in my lineup. Sweet and spicy. That's too good. Yeah. That's so good. So it tastes good, two. but I think it's peppered, original, hot, and then sweet and spicy. I think it's peppered, hot, sweet and spicy, original. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't go wrong with original on either one, but... Pepper's going at my number one for sure. I think pepper's hotter than hot. It is. Hot. Like spicy-wise. my number two. Hot has such a good flavor, though, and it's not original. At number three, sweet and spicy at number four. Gosh. The more I look at this list, I don't like my rankings. <laughs> <laughs> but that's of the jerky, not the beef stick. I know. I don't like it. Cracked pepper should He's be number. Should number three instead of yeah. hot. Yeah, instead I think. of original. Cracked oh, yeah, pepper is, is like one of my favorite flavors. It's the well, like, if I've seen all of those flavors at the store, I'm buying cracked pepper first. Yep, yep. In both the jerky and meat stick. In the jerky. What about meat stick? Well, I don't know. I never bought those. Mm. But you tried them. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. Mm. It's my favorite beef stick. Yes. Mm. So yeah, I think cracked pepper is too low. I think it should be where hot is. Yeah. Again, head over to www.feedonprima.com and use code CHUBBY for 15% off. Like what I'm getting now when I bite into this. A chubby. Ooh. Whoa. So this week, it's a little bit different because we recorded on Tuesday. 
and then now we're recording again on Saturday. So there was no other games, but I still think the hot topic of the week is going to be football. So I hope everybody is ready for to talk a little sports. Whoa. Was that like what it was like? Was the running solo. around the track? No, I was playing the guitar solo. On a ukulele or what? Yeah. It's real tight. I was a little taken back. Patrick Mahomes is listed as playing, guaranteed playing. Oh, yeah. But Travis Kelsey is not. Tweak the He's questionable. Playing. He's playing. He's playing. Well, I, I, he is, for sure. But it's all psych- when did he get hurt? On his ass. When did he year. get hurt? That's weird. Supposedly practice. Oh, Tweak was it? Back. That's what I'd say, too. I'd say fuck practicing right now. Let me take he's like the most important person on the team. Mm, Second. I mean, I'm not counting Patty. Uh, Then, yes, I agree. And he's the most important part of the team. You're taking Patrick out of the equation, then, yes, we'd all Well, yeah, because it's the quarterback. Travis Kelsey is weapon number two and absolutely needs to be protected at all costs. Well, here's a question. If Patrick Mahomes was out, is Patrick Henney – Leading the Chiefs to the promised land this week. Here's Chad what Hinnie. I would say. Chad, Chad, Chad Henney, my bad. Here's what I would my say. Bad. Chad Henney could Hinnie. get the job done, assuming that our defense could play lights out and be playmakers. I think Chad Henney can get it done if we have a lead. I don't I think, think that, he's going to come back at all. I think Chad Henney has a better chance against the Bengals than Patrick Mahomes. What? Patrick Mahomes loses to Joe Burrow every time. See, people who are listening, I'm sorry because Daniel has been in the past. He's fucking anti Kansas City. No, I want Kansas City to win. But here's the best part I 100% want Kansas City to win. I want to see see them say, I'll see y'all at Burrowhead. Uh, All I'm worried about. I heard they were putting that on the Titantron or the. the, Chris Jones I, is going to do. I would do that work. after the game. If we win, I'd blast that shit all over the stadium. But if if, if it's pregame, I... <laughs> Burrowhead. No. no. When I heard the word Burrowhead, it was actually on uh, New Heights podcast. I had hadn't heard anything of it until they brought it up on that. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that was a thing until after I heard that on Wednesday. I think on their episode this past week of. Uh, New Heights, if Burrow got, Head. And McCall Hardman's supposed to play. I don't know how I feel about McCall Hardman. Um, wishy-washy? Yeah, I think. But is he wishy-washy because he's uh, as a player? Is he wishy-washy because Patrick Mahomes doesn't see him down the field? I think just as like a, a football player. he, uh, I, I think he wants to be Tyreek Hill, but he doesn't want to put in the work that Tyreek Hill did to make Tyreek Hill Tyreek Hill. Mm-hmm. I think – because he's fast. He just thinks he's going to get handed it. Right. But and Patrick's not about it. But like I said, the best ability is availability, and he's hardly ever there. It's true. At practice or in a game? Just in general. Like, he's either hurt, like he hurt an ankle or a toe or some. Uh, I think he's got like a pelvis thing now, which is probably like, it's probably legit. But it seems like every year he's out for four or five, six games. Oh, you ain't gonna get any better. Like Tyreek was never hard. It was hardly ever hurt. You know, he he'd come up limping. Yeah, yeah, he'd come up limping. But yeah, he's in the next play, or he'd take a play off. But they're saying McCall Hardman's playing. I'm just like, eh, okay, cool. You know, he adds that speed. But that's why we got Kadarius Tony too. Yeah, like you know, is is him playing and and Patrick having one more read before he looks at Travis Kelsey got to help or hurt? Oh, it's always going to help. If there's weapons, it's always going to help to have weapons available. The reality is he just may not be a weapon that gets used this week. I just don't think he's better than Kadarius Toney. I, 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 would agree. I wouldn't I would take agree. snaps I away think... from Kadarius Toney to give them to McColl. The, the only argument I would make would be experience. Just experience in the offense and experience with Patrick. But at that point, fuck Kadarius Tony's probably got as much oh, knowledge because it. he's not he's hardly ever wow. heard. That's such I a just, ridiculous notion and you know it. I'm just saying, you we know, those got, fly sweeps and stuff. Here with Patrick. So yeah, I don't know. 
What I'm other wide receivers have they had that like during the Super Bowl that because they last won? They had probably what five different right. wide receivers to for him to throw to. Wasn't yeah, it I five? Think McCole's the only one that's from the Super Bowl era. Still there? Yeah. 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 Wow. Uh, other than Travis. We have our new, the Travis. Yeah. Right and, you've, you got, and you've traded everybody else. Like, uh, got traded Tyreek. Yeah. Traded Tyreek. Uh, traded, uh, well, who's that other one? John, Sammy Watkins. Uh, Sammy Watkins. Sammy that's who I was thinking of. I think he was actually a very good key to your guys' team back then. Like, he opened up a he lot was of things a good, for Tyreek. He was a good 3 4. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but we know. I got MV. He's better. Yeah, I like Juju. He's more possession, Juju? like that yeah. red zone threat kind of thing. I just don't think he gets a lot of touches. Catches um, the ball, though. He yeah, yeah, yeah. when ball. he does get thrown yeah. targets to him, yes, he catches it. But I think – I see a lot of uh, Miles Austin and Juju Smith. Like how Miles Austin was always being caught down, like running like a an in just to get a first down. He'd just lob it over to him. Just to get that first down and move, move the chains a little bit. Is that cat biting you again? Juju, Juju, no. Juju needs a compliment, right? He would never be a, a, a star number one. Travis is his compliment, you know. The AB was his compliment, and when and when he doesn't have it, he's not good. Did Juju yeah, I mean, play got, with AB? I think Andy's done something good yeah. here. He and did. He was, yeah. I think he played one year, and that's I didn't think AB he played there traded. with him. But oh, I think, that's right because that's when Juju was a. Uh, a rookie, and he just started shining. And yeah, was his face because, was out because of injury, I thought. Well, a lot of it was AB was getting those targets. But, you know, we got MVS to stretch the field. You exactly. got Kadarius Tony, McCole Hardman. You know, get Juju in those slants. He's a bigger receiver. He can take those hits. Give him a slant. Give him an in route. Whatever. Andy's doing what Andy does well, which is create depth. He's creating depth. We don't have the wild player in Tyreek, but we have depth. And that's what wow. we need to make long run. I don't know. I think Travis Kelsey is that wild player. I think it, even more so oh, than Tyreek. Tyreek's fast. But <laughs> Travis Kelsey does stuff that he gets open, no man. other tight end can do. He gets open. You know? He's a fucking receiver playing tight end with the body He's of a He's a basketball damn, player is what he is. With a, with a, yeah, with a basketball player. body. Yeah. Like crazy. I think – I think in order for us to win, we need to – Isaiah Pacheco needs to go off. Yes. Pacheco needs think to have triple digits. We Chris Jones that needs to game. step up too, I think. Yeah. Jones, they need to press for Burroughs first, and then stat? the offense it, needs to keep them off the field. That can't be real. Chris Jones has never had a postseason sack. That's what I heard. I believe it. That's nuts. Yeah, I've I seen him have, he, he has a bunch of postseason offsides, though. <laughs> Swatted uh, balls too. He, he was like our best defender there, the Super Bowl run. Yeah, like he awesome. was leading the league in swats. That's a he's D line. Leading in, he's leading the league in offsides too. If the yeah. if the defense can uh, pressure Burrows and keep uh, the uh, their offense off the field, I think the Chiefs are going to actually rise to shine in that. If they can keep Burrows off the field, that's their that's their time to shine. Jordan, Jordan and I are praying for a complete and utter <laughs> shutdown. Blow. Like, I don't think we're going to get it, though. That's It's going to be a good game. Just a straight up. I don't want it to be a close game. Defense, Even though you're there, do you want to leave it like third quarter? No. Some special plays from our special teams. How late no, are you staying I, if they win if, like by if 30 If we points? win, we're staying for the whole fucking shebang, dude. You I go, told you. You're going to you go. the, stay for the, for the, uh, the, the, wow. the speech and everything? Shit. Yeah, when they bring the stage out, the confetti's going to fall. You damn Because sure. the last time they were at the – the last time they won the AFC the championship – oh, that would be fun. Do it. What? I don't know. You guys are talking over each other. I can't hear you. What? Oh, sorry. Go down and get behind the cameras. Oh, yeah, yeah, if we can go down, we'll go down for sure. Do it. But it's – I don't know, dude. That's if we win. Come on. Travis Kelsey, that was the last time he was like, you got to fight. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun God, dude. It's going to be so fun. This All is right, the closest so I'll ever get to a Super Bowl. It's a such what? a scary yeah. game, though. It's such a scary I game. I know. And it's fans. only scary because it's Burroughs the- has won three out of four times so far. That's it. It's it's a scary game for the Chiefs fans. It's a hundred percent what we needed to go to the Super Bowl, though. 
We need uh, it's going to be a much out. more glorified win if you guys go and win the Super Bowl if you get through Burroughs, I think. That's right. It's going to yeah, be more talk Daniel, about Super Bowl. I would, I would much rather play the Bengals and the Bills just because I, well, I want to beat the Bengals. Yep. It's Same. weird to me. I, I would have wanted to play the Bills if I was y'all. I would have been like, we want fuck to the Bengals. Them. Give me the Bills. I would have wanted to and play the I Bengals said, to get I, to the AFC I Championship to play to the Bills. I that there is a team that the Chiefs should be afraid of. Right now, there isn't a team that can beat the Chiefs, in my opinion. There are good it's teams. The Bengals. There are great teams. But there if there's team one team in the team. NFL, it's the Bengals. I don't think I don't think the Bengals are better than us. I they're equally usually good. when we lose, it's we throw a pick or we have a fumble yep. or we like we beat ourselves. I don't think they just mistakes. outplay us. I think it's going to be an offensive game. It's probably going to be a little, you know, 34-37 kind of thing. Did you it's see Spagnola's end. press conference? No, I do. I don't watch any press conference because I get too nervous. Well, he so was. I don't well, watch. I don't do you watch. Mind if I, pre, uh, I guess. Those guys that won't watch anything before the game. I can't, dude. I get to like, <laughs> and then and then I'm going to the game, so I'm like, I, I'm double nervous because I don't want to go there and just like we Have just shit the bed. The I pooped once. Okay. Well, he well Spagnola was focusing on how calm and collective he remains in the pocket, and he said that every time that they watch film. It looked like a defender was going to get to him, but he's got like nine eyes on his helmet, and he gets the ball out, or he he's able to tuck it, or whatever. Yeah, That's what he I, was like focused on. He's like, oh, I hate it. He said this I is the too. most calm quarterback they've ever had to face. That's why they call him Joe Cool. Yeah, I think he's Joe overrated. <laughs> no, overrated. I just don't like him. I just don't like his attitude. But that's just me. I like his attitude because he's just. It seems like he's very. Chill. Very Did you see what he guy. said about his hand? Devil may, devil may care attitude, though. They called him out on what he said to his own hand. He goes, uh, I, I don't know what he was saying. He goes, that, that's me or whatever like that. And he's like, what were you thinking to yourself when you looked at your hand? He's like, that's me. He goes, did I say that? <laughs> he goes, I, he goes, I don't know. I, I blacked his, out. I'm him comment. Did you yeah, I'm that? him. He goes, I'm, I'm him. him. And he goes, did I say that? I don't know. Yeah. He Sometimes goes, I think I just blacked out. out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm him. Before before Burrow came to the league, we were talking about uh, Trevor Lawrence. Me and Jordan were talking about Trevor Lawrence. And um, Jordan told me multiple times that J- Joe Burrow was the better quarterback. For what? And, uh, over Trevor I don't know. Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, I think, is saying, still equally good. I think Trevor Lawrence is top five. As quarterback? I think he's number really? five. Yeah. I think this year, I think he, I think he took a big step. You can't think of five quarterbacks five? better than him. What? No, Justin he's, Herbert, he's, Air Bear, I think is me. Air Bear's in that conversation. Got to be who? Air Bear, Justin Herbert. No. What? Not even. No, no, he's not even the top five. Yeah. Are you so kidding? serious? Am I top? Yeah. No. You got Tom. Who's Brady, your top five? Patrick Mahomes. Had it number. Aaron Rodgers. Josh Allen. Who's number five? Trevor Probably Lawrence. Joe Burrow. Yeah, you said Joe Burrow's was better, he said. Okay, I've got – okay, so jo, uh, Trevor Lawrence is number five. Aaron Rodgers is four. Joe Burrow, fucking jo, Josh Allen, and Patty Mahomes. Tom Brady's not Brady in that. Trevor Lawrence is a better Tom Brady's, like, on his way yeah. out. Like, Tom Brady's the fucking GOAT. I'm not even – Obviously, he's so number he's in one. A, he's in a tier class of of his own. A hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> Tom Brady, or uh, not Tom Brady, Trevor Lawrence better than Jalen Hurts. Oh, not this year. This year, there he's tre- Trevor Lawrence I, proved his worth. Yeah, but I this year Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts should be in the top five. And I, I think what I feel bad, but what, but what I've Brock seen so far. I think start, hurt right off the don't list. start with Brock Purdy. I th- no, I, from what I've seen this year, uh, Trevor Lawrence, like I think he's in the right system with Doug Peterson. I think he's like the most improved quarterback from year over year, from last year to this year, and I think he made leaps to get himself into like that that top tier echelon of quarterbacks. 
You don't now think you could Hurts argue those same Joe? No, no, I do, but I'm just Jalen Hurts. I I don't know. I, I think Jalen Hurts is still new to the NFL, so I'm not Jalen gonna Hurts give has him been in the that. league longer than Trevor Lawrence. I don't think so. Yeah, one year extra. This is his third year. Well, this is Trevor's. How long Second has Trevor year. been in here? Trevor was Second a rookie year. last year. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah, Under what's his name? That, yeah, buddy. that fucking fire. The, the, the Michigan coach, or Ohio State coach. Last year, he got drafted by the Jaguars. Jalen Hurts was drafted, and he was under. Would you shut up for like two seconds so I can look this thing up? <laughs> I, you don't need to look it up. I'm telling you. This is his third year. Uh, Trevor Lawrence. God damn it. Nope. <laughs> Grandma D. All right. <laughs> Got to wear your shirt off for one quarter if you're wrong. <laughs> you pay me 500 bucks, dude. I'll do it. Yeah, I'm 500 shy. Definitely it's don't it, have that. It's, it's weird how Daniel's mic is so loud, like when it's on. What? what is that noise? Like when you have it on, there's a noise. Is it that heater? He probably got like a fan or something in his room. Yeah, he said it was that heater. I was like, man, is it that loud? I didn't realize it was that loud. Yeah. I thought you were shutting it off for your crunching. Of a microphone. I thought you were shutting it off for that crunch. No, I was muting it to get it out of the bag, and then I turned it back on to eat it because it's not that loud. Oh, my bad. Damn, maybe you're right. Yeah, I don't really oh, like Jalen. We'll just go with You know what? I don't like Jalen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do. So, but, reveal know, the bias wrong. of the machine. That's all no, right. I just, I don't know. All right, so here's another question. What do the Eagles need to do to win, and also vice versa, what do the 49ers need to do to win in this next game? Jordan, uh, you miss your unbiased. Either team, whichever team has the most points at the end of the game will win. Well, that's a fact, but oh. <laughs> but statistically, what does Brock Purdy need to do to prove his worth for the Niners next year? He needs to protect year? the ball, one. No interceptions. Um, yeah, no interceptions, no fumbles, no dumb shit. And I think just kind of like let the offense run. I think don't try to defense. press. Don't try to press. Don't try to thread the needle, hit the open guy, play smart football. Uh, defensively, yeah, I think the 49ers defense has got to – Keep Jalen in the pocket, get some pressure on him. Yeah, I I think the 49ers have a better defense. Eagles have a better offense. So I'm kind of torn between the two. I'm going to kick you from the other one, Josh. Guess who's back? Thanks. I didn't know you were gone. I thought you were just standing, like, curiously. Very, very still. (laughs) But I if you notice, like the last down, two games, you send Heather downstairs to throw more coal on the fire to the internet. Ah. But if you notice, uh, the last two games, the 49ers, both them and the Eagles are known for throwing screens. So I think this is going to be a pretty wild game. A little screen game? Yeah. I think Here's the no thing. matter what, if the Bengals lose to the Chiefs, AFC takes the Super Bowl. No matter what. If, if the, the NFC is going to win, if the NFC is going to win, the Bengals have to win. They can't beat the Chiefs. Neither. I one think it's the Chiefs. other way around. I think if the Bengals win, it, the NFC is going to lose. I think the Chiefs. The Chiefs. I think. How many games have they lost against AFC teams versus NFC teams this year? Because they lost to the Bengals. They lost to the Bill. Uh, the Colts. Well, let's see. We've only lost three games. So. An AFC Bengals, team in the Bills. Or Colts, Bengals, uh, and the Bills. So, An AFC team in the all Colts. All three AFC. AFC. I don't know. I think the Bengals so we will. Lost I mean, they AFC. throttled the Niners. Right. I think we were the only they team to put throttled. 40 on them. And that's a different team now. So I'm saying if the Chiefs beat the Bengals, they're winning the Super Bowl. If the Is Bengals beat the Chiefs, team? NFC is going to win it. Because we put 40 on no, the Chiefs. They didn't have their tight end when the Chiefs played them. They didn't have Christian McCaffrey. Correct. It's a different they offense. did have Christian McCaffrey. It's a when the Chiefs played offense. them? No, they didn't. We put 40 yes, points up on the really? defense. It, it was his first game. Tell me, yeah, it's a different defense. 
Did he play, or was it just his first game with the team? Yeah, he played a little bit. And, and not, nowhere near the capacity he played now. Yeah, because now Purdy only throws screenplays to Christian McCaffrey and fucking stat pads. Okay, that, haters. If you had Christian McCaffrey as your running back, you would too. No. No, you wouldn't? Nope. What would you do? Just hand it off? No, I'd throw the Debo. Uh, I'd throw the Debo. <laughs> right. He's pretty confident in that throw. I toss it to Debo. Yep, throw it to Debo. Fuck it. Is it is because it he stole your grandmama's chain? Who? Debo. No. Oh. You got knocked yeah. the fuck out. <laughs> That's my bike. Well, I guess we can talk about XWE. Ready? Let's talk about him. Every time, it never fails. I always get Josh in the middle of getting ready to say something. And I, <laughs> I don't know how it happens. I'm I'm every getting really good at it every week. It's impressive. You're a master at it. But hey, we recorded Tuesday, so it feels like I just talked about this yesterday. February 25th. I got the Heartbreak Brawl. Solana Fieldhouse. I don't know if I'll be able to go to that. If I can, then I'll try. That way, uh, Daniel, are you going? Most likely take going to that show. I have, I, have some, I have some set up to do for BJ. So You have to do what, Josh? I said, will you take your shirt off and paint chubby buddies on your chest? See, with mine, I've got too much hair. So it won't look as good. <laughs> if you're at that show. I will see my chest hair. I don't think you find clippers. Is it like mine? Song. I mean, it's, you ready to show it's pretty, you want to show pretty severe, sir. Sure. You first. Yeah, this is a PG podcast. Let's not show our chest hair. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Never no. mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. Jordan got me beat. You, you look like Austin now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ladies, this is uh, we are related. If you want to see the machine hairy chest. If you're into that sort Should of Should we thing, bring it up on the big screen, right Jordan? Here on video. My chest? My girl likes oh, to man. party all the time. Yeah. Party you want to see my time? chest? What you want to see that chest? See that 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 chest, oh, the chest it, fro. He's doing an encore. Where are you ladies and gentlemen? Look at them you chest know, pubes. What like to rub <laughs> it. <laughs> it's right there. Look at them oh, chest good. pubes. Sorry. Well, What's the necklace see. say? See. It's just a cross. To experience, but it's there for I've never seen you wear jewelry before. Yeah, it's always under my shirt. But I like it's it. Just a... it's good what, work. kid? Oh, okay. Jordan, like, <laughs> turned like he had a stiff neck. Like, I've had a stiff neck for, like, four days. And the way well, he turned good. is... Like, it's because like, of my headphones. Cringe. That cord's not long enough. Oh, I have, like, an extension cable. Yeah, see, I don't have that. I got well, February 25th. Next time, next time I see you, I'll bring you. That's why I could I, I can move it this way. I can do that. It's it's going this way. It looks like you're pooping. Dude, it hurts so oh, bad going back. Ouch. But February 25th <sighs> at the Heartbreak Brawl, you can see XWE Entertainment at the Salina Fieldhouse. He needs I to believe... get us a list of matches. He doesn't have yeah, because I feel weird it. talking about them, but I don't know who's like wrestling. He doesn't have the match card yet because I'm waiting on it as well. For I don't know, but I can say B posted a video today. B posted of a video today on his Facebook. Yeah, of Remington. That flip thing? Uh, dude. Like flip pair bombing paradox? That was, That's, clean, was crazy. That was awesome. Yeah. Bobby, we should share that to our socials because that was really cool. You can share it too. You're an admin. Like, if I don't yeah, see it and you guys I'll see it, it right now, Look. yours, you can share whatever you want, man. If I don't see it and you guys do, I highly suggest I'm you doing. share it because I I don't see everything. I don't live on Facebook, <laughs> but I do, however, follow XWE on Facebook, XWE on Instagram. I do not follow them on Twitch, but Twitter, I don't. No, if I do or not. I don't get on Twitter that much. I'm not a tweeter. 
Oh, but April last time I twatted. That's, yeah. But that, April eighth. April eighth, the oh. awakening. That's their uh their anniversary show at Solana Fieldhouse. And all these show open at five, right? I think the doors doors open at five. And maybe maybe six. six. Yeah, maybe. Doors open at five, okay. shows start at six usually. Yeah. That's how it was. And then far. April twenty second is their trip back to Leavenworth, which hopefully the following week we will all be able to be there for the NFL draft. Mm-hmm. So yeah, baby, that'd be cool. I think it's gonna be fun, especially if we can all go. We could do a little live. I think we could do our first ever YouTube live stream from wherever hotel we're staying in. Like, so if Daniel has a room or I have a room, we could pick a room and do a live stream from there. Hello. Yeah. Well, you know, I work for Hilton, <laughs> so well, we could go. get some discounts, you know. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a pit house suite. What happens in Kansas City stays in Kansas City. Or is it in Leavenworth? Who's what? Hilton that you work at? Yeah. It's in Leavenworth, but I get discounts. Yeah. I just didn't know how big Leavenworth was. I wasn't sure if, like, you were in Leavenworth. half the size or... of Hutch. Really? Mm-hmm. Dang. And they got a Hilton? Hutch don't even have a Hilton. Or do they? I mean, it's not like a. That's like a four-star like hotel, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's not like a bougie brand. It's just, you know. I thought bougie was like cheap bougie. to make it look to make it look expensive. Yeah, I mean, we got competitive rates, but it would be better know. to go. Hey, all <laughs> of us all bougie places up in street, up in uh, St. Louis. The Hilton's pretty bougie there. Yeah, it just depends, like. You know, if if it's Hilton owned or if it's franchise or how many rooms it is and you know what what right. brand it is. See, ours is a Hampton Inn. So Oh, we have a Hampton Inn then. My bad. I thought Hilton was yeah. just Hilton. No, the Hampton, Hampton Inn the one Hilton. off <laughs> Yeah, the Hampton the Hampton is the one off sixty one here, isn't it? Uh, In behind the old Amarillo Grill where Josh used to live. I don't remember. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Either way. But yeah, I highly suggest going to check out XW on Facebook. That's where you're going to get most of your info. Follow us on Facebook as well because we will share as much as we can on their Facebook page to our page. Well, who's ready for the highlight of the show? Throck Daddy is back with graphics this week. Because Rock Daniel doesn't Boston. feel like shit, but he's eating. Yeah, cheetos. I'm here with the Cheetos and all, and the beer. Oh, he had to put a dip in for this one. He had to put a dip in for this one. Southern Jaguars? Who the fuck is that? Southern Jaguars, baby. Is that? Wow. Uh, fuck is yeah. it? Alabama Southern? What? What is it? Southern Alabama? I'm, I'm Who the checking. fuck is Southern Jaguars? Give me a second. I'm checking. <laughs> God damn. You all pick these fucking players and you got like. That's not even the college. That's the, uh, that's the mascot. I, that's Southern. the college. It's called the Southern Jaguars football program. That's the college. So what's the college? Mm-hmm. That's the name of Southern Jaguars is the college. Southern Jaguars football program. Southern University. In what That's fucking true. state? Like, <laughs> um, if it's a Jaguar, it's a Florida. I don't know. That was a guess. In the Gulf Coast Athletic Conference. So Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Florida. Oh, the rivalries yeah. are Grambling State and Jackson. They they are located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. There we go. Okay. I so down know. yonder, down Southern yonder. The college is, that's the Southern. college is Southern Jaguars. Southern, Southern, Southern University, University Jaguars. Okay, get to the next fucking Southern. clue because I have no idea. <laughs> oh my god! Drafted by the Cardinals in '91. Yeah. Oh, we need some drip. We want some drip. We got Southern yeah. Jaguars from Southern University College out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We have the Cardinals left by the Cardinals. That's too loud. No. 
Your your mic's cutting out, Daniel. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Southern yeah. College drafted by the Cardinals in 1991. I was much. three. Um, they have artificial yeah, they turf three. as their surface of their field, if that helps at all. Ah, the so Cardinals or the school. Southern Jaguars? Southern Jaguars. Oh, okay. Uh, their rivalries are Rambling State and Jackson State. Yeah, Josh just said that. that. Oh, I didn't hear you. I wasn't listening either. So when he was drafted, the they were the Phoenix Cardinals. In 1991, Aeneas Williams. Yeah. A Phoenix Cardinals was 91. <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> oh, did I get he it? He got it right what? on the second pick. <laughs> How? 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 What position did he play in your eyes? Bobby, turn the music off, please. Safety. It Possession. is off. What the it's crap? On pause. <laughs> I didn't know. I said Aeneas Williams, and nobody looked like like I got it right. So I was I was stumped. <laughs> I was I was just laughing. I think it's Josh. <laughs> and you didn't know the college. What? Yeah, I had no idea. All right, Where's the football number? On. But what position did he play in your eyes? Aeneas Williams. Yeah. yeah I always remembered him as a safety. What? Well, I remember it was a corner. Because yeah, oh, really? a corner on his. Yeah, I put corner, corner on here on the corner graphics back. because. It's I Josh's mind. How did you remember? How did you remember Aeneas Williams went to the Cardinals? Madden? No, that's literally the only one I knew around that time. I knew it wasn't Pat Tillman. God. So he was drafted in like 93, kinda, wasn't he? I don't know. Wow. Ugh. All right, we're moving on to the second one. I think he went to Arizona State. Any hoodles. I hate you, Here we go. We got. Could be anybody. Uh, Jared Goff. <laughs> All right, well, I know first, it's not right. We need, to, we need to tell the people the um, college. That's right. Cal. Shout out to Bo. Um, Cal, Jared Goff. All right. Not right. I know. Eh, you're wrong. We're moving on to the next clue since you got that one. He wrong. really likes doing that. I fucking hate it. It irritates the shit out of me. Drafted by the Bills in 2007. Is this beast mode? This is beast mode. <laughs> yeah. This is Marshawn. beast mode. <laughs> Please take no time whatsoever. Yeah. I told you, Daniel. Man. I told you it wouldn't take him any time to get this. All right. <laughs> Oh, well, you screwed up my ants that time, didn't you? We're moving yeah. on. Hey, 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 hey. Number <laughs> oh, my God. Um, fuck, what college is that? Hold on, don't tell me. I know what Green college eight? that is. Um, is that Eastern Eastern mm. Illinois? There you go. Oh, uh, Tony Romo? There you go. No. At home. It's it's Eastern, Eastern, Illinois. Eastern Michigan. Oh, Michigan, oh, my oh, bad. Okay. That was my Eastern bad. Eastern Michigan. That won't count then. Don't go to the next one. Guess one from Eastern Michigan. Eastern Michigan. Eastern that was totally oh, my bad. bad. We have College um, Eastern Michigan. Let's get a guess from Jordan. Although I always did str- like trump Jordan with the Eastern Illinois Tony Romo question. Um, Eastern Michigan. Does uh, like some good on the side? Let's go Antonio Bryant. I know it's not right, but let's go. Chop, chop. Uh, who was that? Shut up. Antonio Bryant. Or Antonio All Brown, right. sorry. Antonio, Antonio Brown. Brown. All right. I That's know it's not right. Correct. Let's uh, move yeah. on to the next one. Drafted by the Raiders in 2019. Is this Max Crosby? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Holy shit. Dude, Did you know he went to Eastern Michigan? An animal today. What? Yeah, I mean, I do now. Uh, yeah, because him and um, <laughs> oh wow, a ch- there was a Chiefs offensive lineman, yes, and they were Chiefs. like roommates or some shit. At least we didn't get in one question. 
And we all got it at two. It's okay. Damn, hell yeah. Like Alex wow. and Alex and Jordan was, was, was number tattooed on the That inside. had to be like one of our shorter <laughs> segments there. Jordan was on one. That yeah, it went by fast. Yeah. Like you make fast, fast people look not so fast. You make fast people look not so fast. <laughs> Those are good what, ones. What was the actor's name who said that? Ready go. Hmm. What? What did you say? What was the actor's hmm. name I who, just who watched said it that the other day? So I know you it. You made fast people look not so fast. Is it Chris Rock? No, it was a white guy. That Stone Cold Steve Austin? Old white guy. He played uh he played the, uh, the snitch. No, it was the snitch of uh, Longest Yard. The old white guy. He mm-hmm. goes, he fast. He makes I mean he yeah. makes fast people look not so fast. Uh, yeah. I don't know his he's, name. He's a little old man that I didn't know his I don't know his main Chris name. Jaron Duran. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Did you look it up? Me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I knew who it was, but I had a, I had What's he in? Though. What's it's he in like besides my favorite Longest movie Short. of all time? The Great. Longest Short is my favorite movie. movie. So I knew it. I just didn't remember it. But so it wasn't was... in your top five movies. Um, yeah. Because you sold it. Ago. You fucking. Mm, he got gosh, it in his fourth right pick. Yeah, it was a late oh, round. I didn't expect anybody to take it. Like, it's not even that good of a movie. Just shut up. Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Well, I guess now we can uh, play. What's that, Josh? He is so delayed. Yeah, his we, internet is shit. Are we doing the um, Let's Bobby see versus Josh like movie? Well, I can't help it. Joshua, you're first. Let's do it. Yeah. Me and Bobby got movies. Yep, go. Me first. You first. All right. Uh, okay, this movie is a classic. Hang on, I look at the IMDb. Uh, it is a comedy slash adventure. Comedy adventure. That narrows it down. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's the category. Um, so. I think this segment's going to be here. pretty fast, too. I have to be very generic here. <laughs> here so this is going to be really easy to get. Um, I think the delay is going to help him. Treasure seeking. Treasure seeking. Treasure seeking, and it's a adventure First comedy. Treasure seeking, and it's an adventure, adventure comedy. comedy. National treasure. Yep. I mean, I know it's not a comedy. A, national treasure was a comedy. That was funny. Eh, it was, but, but it was no, more it's not just national treasure. Um. All right. So clue number two is. Early 1900s. What? That's a clue? Yeah. It's set in the early 1900s. It's set in the early 1900s. Sherlock Holmes. Yes. That's the answer? No. Oh. <laughs> huh? No. I said Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> He's so delayed. It's so... <laughs> This episode is gonna blow. <laughs> oh. Shut up. No. So that wasn't it. Not... No. <laughs> no, that is not it. <laughs> All right. So it's not Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> and it's said in the early nineteen. 19- I guess that was eighteen hundreds. Hmm. Said in the early nineteen 19- Goonies. It is not Goonies. That's Why did you have to nice. think about it? You like looked up. You're like. All right. Because I was thinking about Goonies and what that's set. All right. Final clue is prisoners. Prisoners. Oh, Uh brother, where art thou? There you go. Well done, sir. (laughs) That's in the early 1900s. Okay. 
I get it now. I get it now. I thought you were saying that, like, I was thinking, like, that's the era that it was about. I was thinking life. Life? Oh, that would have been a good one, too, but that wasn't Treasure Seeking. I don't give a shit. That's just a good movie. Do not seek the treasure. Dang it, Ray, you done got my toe stuck in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Hey, we thought you was a toad. <laughs> that was my favorite part. Hey, we thought you was a toad. <laughs> uh, uh, Bobby, your favorite part is always, or maybe this is Jordan's favorite part. You gonna eat your cornbread? <laughs> That's my favorite. I said that to, uh, um, oh, who was that? Mom. He used to live over by you. What was his name? Uh, Marquise, his mom. I said oh, that to yeah. her love- when we were at McCandless. Out of nowhere, I popped it off because she brought cornbread to McCandless to hand out his stuff. I was like, you get eat your cornbread. And she started <laughs> laughing her ass off. She well, goes, you saw that movie? Well, fucking sixth grader. No, she goes, you saw that movie too? She didn't you to see the movie in life. Well, it was, I think it well, had just came out and my parents bought it. So yeah, no, I was man. like, should I say? That was the only time in my life where I think I probably logically thought, is she going to think this is racist? <laughs> <laughs> you going to eat your cornbread? <laughs> oh, All right. You ready? I'll tell you what, Marquise is a funny dude. He would be fun to get on here sometime. That dude, that dude cracks me up on Facebook. Who went first? He's always I did. got me laughing on there. This is I, Josh, I, I tried to guess Josh's movie and I got it. You got it? You got yeah. It. Yep. How many clues? Three. What was the but clues? did it take you all the way to your final guess? No. You shouldn't have no. went out to go fucking smoke. You would have been in here. We wouldn't have to recap it all. It was my first guess of the third clue. Uh, all right, Here's what on. I gave him. I gave him treasure seeking. Then I gave him... Uh, Early 1900s. 19, set in the 1930s. No, you said 1900s. Yeah, er, Shut your mouth. Er, yeah, early 1900s. Yeah. Yeah, 1900s. You're right. I did say 1900s. No. And then I, the final clue was uh, prisoners. Yeah. Oh, damn. I, that's, those are good hits. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Yeah. All right. You ready, no. Joshua? Uh- <laughs> All right. Let's not yes. mess with me right now. <laughs> All okay. right. <laughs> Your clue. Oh, oh, actually, your genre movie is comedy. Your okay. first clue is Close Brothers. Step Brothers. Not Step Brothers, but good guess. Okay. Second clue a set up marriage or arranged marriage. A set up marriage. Or arranged marriage. Arranged marriage. Close Brothers and Arranged Marriage. Yes. Maybe. Uh, I thought about getting like a twins? deodorant stick to put right here as my little like Wait. my desk mm-hmm. my desk ornament. <laughs> Maybe the just periodically <coughs> just put some on. Yeah, or just put it right, right here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> If I get nervous, just be like, <laughs> "Damn!" Oh, 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 Bobby, is this yeah. coming to America? No, yeah. <laughs> it's not it. Oh, I said no. How <laughs> <laughs> late you are! <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, this needs to be the delay episode. We absolutely need to call this the delay episode. <laughs> that was the most excited Josh ever yeah. got. Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Bingo! Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's still weird. Well, no, I said yeah, as in Bobby. I went, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, that is not it. That's your first guess for the delay. second clue. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, dude. I mean, my throat's gonna be a horse tomorrow. I know this movie. I just can't remember <laughs> the name of it right now. Um. Uh, 
Coming to America didn't have close brothers in it either. Oh, I guess they're best friends with it. No, he's his his bodyguard or his... uh, What do they call that? Chaperone. It's his chaperone. Oh, Oh, man. Arranged? That's the thing. I'm trying to think of an arranged marriage movie. Like... I have no idea. I sent my guest to you on uh, Recess Ruckus Discord. Um, no, Discord. don't be too. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I don't know if I. Gosh, I don't know. I have to. I have it closed right now, so I don't want to exit out and mess something up. That's fine. I'll tell you afterwards if I was right or wrong. But right. you'll see the timestamp if I was right. He has one guess, and if you guys who are listening think that you know this, the first clue. Well, first it's a comedy. The first clue. <clears throat> it's that it's about close brothers. Second clue is that it's about an arranged marriage. No, no, black sheep. No, not even no, a good we'll guess, but we'll move on. Third I, clue. It's about a nightclub idea. Oh, I know. A I was wrong. Right? Pretty sure I was wrong, but <laughs> George, stop. Is, it Night at the is that it? It is not at the Roxbury. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan gave it away. He was doing this. <laughs> now Maddie was talking and I was doing this. I love that movie. I uh my guess was Boondock Golly. Saints. Ooh, that wasn't a comedy though, buddy. Ooh, that's I didn't pay movie. attention to that part. Yes, uh, another one of my favorite movies of all. Time. He got it on the first guess of the third clue. The first guess was uh, Close Brothers, Arranged Marriage, and the third clue was a, a nightclub idea. Great movie. Night at the Roxbury. Bravo, Joshua. Thank you. Thank this you week, much. this week we are going back to another game that we played last week. Jordan, are you ready? Sure. Did you like that game last week, Jordan? What game was it? Better than Hot the one seat. He my ass in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. And last week, Joshua won, and he got to choose the draft order. So this week, I'm going to let Jordan choose the order of, of who gets to go first for this. How's that? Okay. Um, why not me? Second? Why does Jordan get to pick? Why not me? Because Jordan is tired, and he's ready to go. Like I, I don't care. <laughs> And you got to Daniel. go fourth on the draft. Be quiet, plus Daniel one. Daniel's going to go first. Daniel's going first. All right, that's what I'd have picked, too, so I'm all right with that. I know. Um, what's the draft for? No, this isn't the draft. This is to play oh. this game. Um, Daniel, Josh, Bobby, me. Daniel, Josh, there we me, go. and you. All right, Daniel, card one, card two. Uh, Let's go with. This is a hard one. I'm picking card two, asshole. <laughs> and for those who are just now tuning in, last week we played a game called Hot Seat. I'm going to read a, a card here for Daniel, and then us three have to figure out what his answer may be. And whoever is closest, so whatever it could be, whoever has maybe a word in there or location or whatever, whoever's the closest wins. The first question for Daniel. <laughs> What about the opposite sex baffles Daniel? <laughs> Did you hear that, everybody? Such a hard question. Why you got to start it off? I want card one. Well, that was card two. That's what you got. You can hurry up. Wait, read the question off. again. What about the opposite sex females baffles Daniel? So what is it about a female that would baffle Daniel? Got Daniel, it. you get to choose who you want to hear from first, second, and third. I've got mine. Josh has his. Does Jordan have his? All right, we're all ready. I'm not ready. Well, you hurry up. And Josh, you don't need to write it down for us. It's only for yeah, your answer. Oh, 
for when you when it's your turn. Hey, Brock Purdy would have had this already. Brock Purdy would have had this shit down already. Yeah, because he would have thrown a screen pass. Yeah. I'm throwing, I'm throwing, I'm throwing a 100 yard ball. Let's right find here. out what it is that baffles Daniel about women. All right, let's hear it from Jordan first. The bean. <laughs> the bean? Yeah. As in <laughs> what we think it is? Is this like a Seinfeld episode title? The bean? The bean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's hear it from Bobby next. I put mood swings. Okay. Y'all think I'm a fucking... Never mind. Go ahead, Josh. I put why the toilet seat needs to be down. Oh, my God. It's such a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Um, If it's Bean, I I boycott. (laughs) I, I wrote down the ability to keep moving through most anything. Ugh. Man, he went freaking straight up like he went, he went like deep and mean, poetically. And like, are you a, a secret poet? He's getting proud of his... So is the bean not right? No, I, no. Not a, I think this is zeros. I think this is zeros. You wouldn't Who's say mood saying? swings would fall under no. that. No, no, I don't. Not <laughs> at no, all. I think it's. I think this is a goose egg. We're moving on with a goose egg. That's what I am. <laughs> Jesus. I'm like a Nazi as a judge over here. All right. Joshua <laughs> David Miller. Card. Wow, let's do it. One or card two? Card one. Card one. Yep. Bark Ryan? Yes, Bark please. Ryan. If Josh could choose anyone in the world, whose life would he like to live? You better have a name of somebody that I can spell at least. Does it have I'm, to be I'm gonna keep... real or can it be fictional? Make it real. That way we would know. Because if it's fictional, I probably haven't seen that movie or book. All right. That's good. And I got mine. All right. Here's mine. And you tell us who you want to hear from first. Okay, I have gotta write down my answer first. If you have to write it down, there's gonna be like a first, middle, and last name. He's supposed to write it down, ain't he? Yeah, I'm just saying, like, if he has to think about how he's gonna spell it or something. What you eating on, Jordan? All right, Mark Rhines. I got my ah. Uh, Who do you want to hear from first? Uh, Bobby, let me hear from you. Uh, I put Elon Musk. Daniel, let me hear from you. I picked Neil Armstrong. Jordan? Jordan, let me hear from you. Some fucking astronaut. That's what you put down? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So him and... Elon Musk! What? Elon Musk. (laughs) What? Bobby got it. Thank God. Both. Yeah. All right. Jordan, pick a That's card for me. One. Jordan, card one or card two for me? Two. Card one, card two. No. Not even my top five. Two. Two. Okay. All right. This is for me, everybody. <laughs> what is the worst gift I have ever received? Damn, What's the worst gift this. you have ever received? What is the worst gift I have ever received? We literally just talked about this. I don't think we've ever talked about this. No, we did it off the air. Really? We were talking about a draft. And yeah. We were like, no, I had brought that up. Like our draft would be w- our worst gift, Christmas gifts. And Josh goes, "How about we not do that?" So we don't yeah. hate yeah. it. On. Yeah, and you. Told <laughs> so we us didn't talk about the gift. exactly. That's you what told us. We, what we, you're we have kind do. of talked about this a little bit. I don't think I gave you my worst gift though. 
but maybe I not your words, words, but you like told you gave us a like example. Well, yeah, I, I said sweaters or socks, but Jordan goes, "Oh, you can never have too many socks." Yeah, that's it's true. Right. It's true. Worst it's true. gift. Worst gift. Mm. Mm. I don't want to hurt any feelings. <laughs> you fucking uh, threw the card. You stuck me with one, so you're stuck. All right. Uh, let's hear from uh, Daniel. I don't even have one. Start somewhere oh. else. My bad, Jordan. Wait, you have to write. An STD. <laughs> okay. Oh. JD. No, Jordan. <laughs> what? Oh, well, you weren't specific God. like birthday, uh... Christmas. It's just a gift. <laughs> <laughs> that is a gift that keeps on uh, giving. I'm gonna I say... wouldn't be happy about it. I'm going to say somebody got you some thing that you don't like yes you good job aren't interested in at all yeah something you're not interested in at all so i'm gonna say somebody got you a baby doll or something like that hmm. all right daniel do you have your shit i, don't know. I do eagles merchandise well that's that's a good guess but it was uh redskin <laughs> jersey it was ah, a redskin jersey, jersey right? There you go. That's so a good point. Daniel, Daniel gets the point. Daniel gets a point. All right, Jordan, card one or card two? One. All right. One, it is. It's the first one on the deck. What is the first thing Jordan would do if he won the lottery? Mm. I, I got my answer. Done. Got it. All right, Jordan, who you want here? Wait, from? what's Wait. the question? What would you do first if you won the lottery? What would you do if you won the lottery? Okay. What would um, you do with the money, or what would you just do? Because the right. first thing you got to do is cash in the ticket, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what would you do when you actually <laughs> got the money? Okay. Wait, what would you say, Josh? What are you spending it on first? basically. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's, that's the idea. That's what changing oh, but what okay. do you spend that money on first? Um, now I got to change my answer. <laughs> he was going to put cash in the ticket. <laughs> no, I was going to say, don't tell anyone. Um, <laughs> uh, no, what do, you, what do you spend? That what do you buy on? first? Um, yeah, what, I got what, mine. That money is getting spent. What, what's getting bought first? Okay. I got mine. Okay. Um, Bobby. All right. Mine would be the call, the, <clears throat> your kids' college careers. Okay. Daniel. He didn't say Daniel. You said Daniel. He gets a pick. Okay. Uh, um, Josh. Thanks. <laughs> I think you're going uh, opposite uh, what Bobby I'm gonna said. I'm going to say. <laughs> Jordan Jordan goes straight up gangster and does what every every good boy does and buys his mama a house. Okay. Dead ass, that's my same answer. <laughs> Dead ass, same buys answer as I had. Yep. Ah, I, said, I said I said stocks. Stocks. Oh shit. Stocks. Man, they ain't really getting that then. Nobody's in close. Mm. Jordan's like, I'm gonna investing invest in your things. kids. Nobody gets it. All right. That's Each crazy. one of us is drawing a card. All right, Daniel, you're just getting the first card off the deck. That's fine with me. What should Daniel take less seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's going to take... Oh, wait. No. What should he take less seriously? Less seriously. I got mine. Got mine. It's easy. It's easy. 
It's the fucking Chubby Buddies podcast. Okay. <laughs> I know what my guess is. All three of us do. Who do you want first, Daniel? I'm going to go with... We're going to go Bobby first because he was ready first. <clears throat> gaming. Video All gaming. Right. We're going to We're going to go with Jordan second. What you should take less serious is the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> and you lost. Um, oh. <laughs> Josh. Uh, mine wasn't tied specifically to gaming. It was just losing in general. The answer is... Video games. Video games. Personally, I think it should be... So Dolphins, opinion, not... But, you know. No, not it. And if and if you get it right ever, you're not gonna have it right because I'm gonna scratch my answer out real quick and change it. Oh, uh, okay. Just because of that answer. Okay. All right, Joshua. You were number two. I'm just gonna draw one right off the board here. Oh, cool. Cool. Let's do it. If Josh had a blank wall to graffiti, what would he write? <laughs> I guess this not one. well. Just what would I write? It would look are pretty. you writing or is he drawing? I got money. What are you writing? Yeah, what are you writing, drawing, whatever. It could be anything. Okay, so it could be a drawing. Yeah, it could be if he was artistic like that. Okay. Got my answer. All right, let me write it down. I think the real answer is all of his family members' birthdays because he's not going to remember them. He does remember. That's the creepy thing. <laughs> he don't remember mine. No, I ever. don't. <laughs> no, I 20 don't. 20-some years later. I don't remember birthdays. I, mean, I can pretty good. I'm... details, but birthdays are not one of those. I things. remember the very first time Josh had a job at Subway and he was going to get everybody he knew Christmas gifts. And I guessed my gift before he even purchased it, I think. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he was I'm so mad. He's sure. I'll he actually that. no. I guess two of the gifts. I guess two of the gifts. Because you got me a Roy D. Mercer CD, and then you also got me a box set of Billy Madison and uh, um, Happy Gilmore. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and I guess both of them because I picked them up and I was like, was "Well, this funny. is probably a Roy D. Mercer it CD." Either. It was fun. Yeah. All right, who you want first, Jordan or Josh? Uh, Jordan, let me hear from you. Uh, a Bible verse. <laughs> a Bible verse. <laughs> Bobby, let me hear from you. I put Miller 55. <laughs> <laughs> Miller time. Miller time. Or I Frank Trey a, Miller. I put a spacing. A spacing. Oh, I like that. So I put That'd follow be a the way. Work. So a that's a Bible verse. verse. So it's not directly a Bible verse, but I would say Jordan gets the point because it's, right. it's Jesus related. So, all right, this one is for moi. <laughs> this is stupid. What fortune cookie saying will summarize the next month of my life? <laughs> That's stupid. What? I can't even think of a fortune cookie saying right now. Let's go. We got to come up with some good ones for this. Bobby's face. <laughs> I don't know at all. This is terrible. I'm looking up what a fortune cookie saying is. <laughs> That's going to be the weirdest thing you've ever Googled. <laughs> Better than it's my boss going to find out about the porn. 
Dude, I watched that episode twice and I laughed hard every time. I couldn't, dude, I couldn't breathe. I dude, couldn't I... even get it out. When you said that, I'm I'm like, what did he say? And then like I totally forgot about it. <laughs> oh no god. Please no. Please no. <clears throat> Alright, is anybody ready? Oh man. Yeah. I have I have All right, Jordan, let's hear yours. Try not to suck. Joshua David, you ready? Yep. Go ahead. Silence is golden. Silence is golden. But a broken wind will grant peace from nearby neighbors. <laughs> I like that one, but I would have never came up with that. <laughs> I do like that, though. Daniel. Like that. All, all the effort you are making will eventually pay off. <laughs> oh, shit. You, I mean, I must have went the way different route for, for y'all, but it's all right, because this one's going to be good. Josh will think it's funny. <clears throat> My fortune cookie would read, you used to drink way more. <laughs> <laughs> it said it's going to help you in the next month, not your past. <laughs> that's, <good. laughs> that's accurate. Oh, that's oh accurate. so um, what was Jordan's? Drink way more. Try not to suck. That's a point. Thank you. I mean, if I drank more, I would suck. Yeah, no yeah, point. You're trying not to suck. <laughs> no point. No point. <laughs> All right, Jordan. Yo. Your last question of the day okay. before our draft. Oh, God. This is a fill in the blank, fellas. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Fill in the blank to complete the sentence. Jordan okay. discovered blank before it was cool. <laughs> oh, I discovered something before it was cool. Uh, before it was cool. <laughs> I got mine. I'm done. I got it. Jesus. Uh, I got mine. What did I discover this before? This isn't going to be his answer. This is the best way of it. No, I'm not even slamming him. That's not bad either. What did I discover before it was cool? And I could have two answers, but I'm going to go with the easiest one. I have two answers that could be the same thing. I don't even know. What did I discover before it was cool? Mine's kind of like, like, like literal, legit. Are you thinking S T Y L E? No. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. Um what did I discover before it was cool? It didn't have to be like legitimate. You can be funny with it, bro. No, I know I just uh... I've got an answer that's real too. I got two. I got two possible real answers that I think Jordan will be like, "Ah, oh, shit, I, that'd have been a good one." Okay, I don't think anybody's gonna get this, but this is the first thing that came to my head. Okay, who do you want to hear from first? This. Bob. Bob. Ah, oh, damn it! And he said nobody would get this, and that's makes makes me want to get the other idea that I had. But I don't think I don't. I I just don't think because I don't think I'm on the same page as you are. <laughs> go in, right. Bobby. I'm gonna go with the other one because this one I think yeah. this one I think Josh could be on the same page with. So I'm gonna say Jordan came up with or Jordan discovered a way to memorize music before all of us. <laughs> he would bounce his head on the pillow to memorize music <laughs> before it was oh cool. <laughs> that's, but that's not cool though. <laughs> Dude, the way that you memorize music is cool. cool. Okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, my, well, do you want to hear my no, other one I'm after curious. this? Yeah, I was going to say. I'll, I'll say it after this one. to see if anybody has it. JD. 
he my guess is Jordan is actually the original creator of the slice and dice finisher uh, that he created, and then like <laughs> ten years later, a wrestler actually started using on WWE. Oh, yeah, I that do little remember hook that. over nice. the head and hook in the arm. I don't yeah. remember who does it, but you came up with that remember. move ten years before he did. Huh. Yeah, slice and dice, baby. Daniel. Leroy um, Simmons. My answer is Jordan came up with Leroy. discovered hair, discovered hair all natural before anybody else. Before it was <laughs> that was way late. <laughs> he he had a long hair every day since. Remember hair the Titans came natural. out. <laughs> yeah. No. Jordan, I remember, mind? Oh yeah. Go ahead. My other one was shorts under your jeans. <laughs> yeah. Just in case a game of twenty one broke out. Always you know? so for all of us. My entire childhood I had to have basketball shorts under everything I wore. Everybody did. Yeah. We're about to run. I need these pants off. What was your right, Jordan, that What was your answer? I had hey dudes. <laughs> like the shoes. I I I bought Hey Dudes before Hey Dudes really? was like Hey Dudes, Hey Dudes. dudes? Yeah, they had them in like Wichita, really? like, I don't know, 10, 15 got, years ago. I got mine at Shoe Carnival, my first pair. Yeah. But I don't know, I don't know if they were called Hey Dudes or not. They I were like, pair, they were a croc a version of Hey Dudes before I think Hey Dudes were popular. Yeah, I bought two pair for $20 a piece because it was like some startup Ooh. brand. Huh. And then fast forward, now they're like $60 a shoe. We should buy stock in that. Yep. Yeah, well, I bought this my week, pair of Hey Dudes because of Jordan. Imagine. This week, See? I won with two points. Jordan had one and Daniel had one. Josh had zip. Oh. We had a lot I, of zilches. I should have at least one more. You had one. I should have at least have two. I, I, should, I, should, have one. Point. I should have got that last point, Jordan. What do you think? <laughs> what, what was your guess? Uh, that you came up with. Hairstyle? The hairstyle. Yeah. No, I don't think that's, so. That's that's closer than anyone else. Yes. He had that bald fade part. going before no, no, everything. Mine was an actual thing that he actually came up with. Yeah. It's not style related, so I should win. Oh. Doesn't need to be style related. Hey, that's dude, we're a style. Take your plus yeah. one opinion elsewhere. They are a style. Anyway, this week's draft, who's ready for that one? Let's do it. I mean, I forgot. Jordan, do you remember what it was? We're doing. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll find it. This week's draft is brought to you by the Chubby Buddies Podcast. That's but us. no, this week we are drafting our top five cereals. Oh, that's right, cereal. Ah, see, see, we are fat. Yeah, yeah. Top five breakfast cereals. Let's go. Hey, I'm just going to throw this out there. I think that since I won, I should get at least first pick. You get to pick the order. I mean, you can throw that out oh, there. Pick but, the yeah. order. Pick oh, order. I'd rather pick the order. Put the pick order. Josh, will you get to go first? Oh, thank you. You're a saint. That's stupid. <laughs> That's stupid. Yeah, you don't get to pick the order. We're going back. You're first. and I Daniel, get you're third order. now that you've opened your mouth. Oh, I'll okay. go second. Jordan will go fourth. They said wow. more shit than I did. Fourth, you get double pick, bro. But I have to wait. You'll be I'll, all right. I'll trade you, pick. Jordan. You want to trade, Jordan? No, you don't get a trade. You're going to sit in the corner from now on. You don't I'm get going pick. second. I'm going Josh forward. first. Bobby, me and Jordan Bobby, Bobby second. Daniel third. Jordan fourth. Not if Jordan wants to switch me. Shut your mouth, fool. Damn. Break yourself. All right, Joshua. Top five cereals. All right. Right, don't steal it. it. Don't take it. Do not do it. Don't steal it. This is peanut butter cups. Peanut butter puffs. This is peanut butter cups. Yep. PB puffs. Mm. Well, I'm gonna go uh, peanut butter Captain Crunch. I've never had that. Shut up. Me Richard. either. I have. For real? For, yeah, for real. Yeah, I've never ate that before. All right, Daniel. Daniel's gonna go with. Wheaties. 
That's your right. number one. <laughs> like, the, like the frosted mini wheats, Wheaties. That's not Wheaties. Wheaties yeah, are like cornflakes. Frosted mini wheats is frosted mini wheats. Okay, I'm frosted. So mini wheat, frosted mini wheats. Yeah, frosted wheats. I'm going Wheaties, and Jordan goes on your first pick. Frosted mini wheats. Bad itch. Jordan, double pick. Fruity pebbles. Fruity pebbles. And fruit loops. Ooh, pebbles and loops. Yeah, he's right. heavy on the fruity Daniel. sides, man. I love he's fruity. fruity ones. Back to back. Mm. Daniel. Daniel's going to go with My cinnamon toast ready-handed. crunch. Mmm. CTC. Cinnamon. Oh, you jerk. Toast crunch. Pull it right off of mine. I'm going to go Captain Crunch Berries. This man's a fucking Captain Crunch fan, huh? Mm-hmm. Duh. Fucks up your roof Ooh, of your mouth. Not mine. Good, good though. George, Joshua. I'll cut it up. I, I am going to go uh, pops, right? A little mm. gold round nugget things. Oh, yeah. we got it. Right? Pops, pops, good. What are they called? Yeah. Pops. Yeah, pops. Uh, and good. then number three. I'm going grown up on this one. Honey oh, bunches God. of oats. Mm. Got to watch that calcium. Wait, which one? Because you have a whole bunch of them. Like, yeah, you want... great too. yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, there's different ones. You just want the Do you want almond? Do you uh, want the original? The one with the blue box, the gold box? Probably the almond. Okay, almond. Yep. You're a the fuck almond. Face. I usually go with the almond. You're such a dickhead. That was my. No. That was my series. That was my next one. Oh, that's my favorite that cereal of all good. time. Good. And I didn't think anybody here it's was gonna so go grown up. It's so good. It's the best cereal ever. I'm mad all now. Right. I'm real. I mad am now. gonna go. Hmm. I'm gonna go. Let's go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna kick it old school. I'm gonna go kicks. Ooh. You guys remember those, uh, right? Oh yeah. You're kicks. not gonna win. Any, you're not gonna win anybody over with the flavor. I on. love kicks. I'm gonna go I mean, cocoa I puffs. Mother approved. Cocoa puffs. It is. Cocoa puffs. Man, we just skip me or something or what? No, it's your, your turn now to go twice. Damn. You got. You're up. Your third and fourth pick. I'm gonna go. You said Cocoa Puffs. I did. So, right. I'm going to go Frosted Flakes. They're great. And Lucky Charms. Ooh. Oh, come on. Lucky Charms. All right, Mm -hmm. Daniel. I can't think of anything. We're going to go with Marshmallow Mateys. What the hell are those? Is that like the generic brand of... Lucky Charms. Yeah, it's 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 the it's bag version. It's, it's the one that everybody oh, buys. That's what it is. Marsh. Malto oh. meal, baby. It's the Mateys. it's the one everyone buys. Buy. <laughs> Mateys. <laughs> <That's what laughs> people buy. They want bougie. Buy. All right, I'm gonna go. Golden Grams. Those are good. Ooh. Those are good. Joshua, All right. you get uh, last four. two picks. Last two picks. So number four, I'm going Apple Jacks. Ooh, I forgot about those. Ah, I did two shit. And number five, I'm going That's Tricks. Robbery. Tricks. Robbery. Have you tried the Trick it's... Minis? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. All the Minis are, like, uh-huh. the best. Tricks. Mi- tricks. They're for kids. I my last pick. I'm gonna go Cookie Crisp. I so I hate you. I hate you so much. I really hate you for that. Daniel, your fifth pick. I, I don't know. You don't have a <laughs> I'm so pissed off. Cookie right Crisp. I'm so mad. You know what's funny, Daniel? Hot stars and I rainbows and the red balloon. Crisp. At your house. Like, What's dude, that? Everybody's taking my, my only cereal. experience with Cookie Crisp is from your house as a kid. Really? 
the the yeah, ones now they suck. Had it all the time. They had it all the time when they were kids. And I would go to their house. It was the only time I'd ever had cookies for cereal for breakfast at mm-hmm. Daniel's house. Well, we need Daniel's last pick for cereal since Cookie Crisp Daniel, is off the table. I'm so pissed off about <laughs> it. I don't even want to play this game anymore. Jordan used to it? take right original Captain Crunch berries, I think, with chocolate milk at, at breakfast time before, like during school. All right. You know what? This is one of the best cereals of all time. Boo berries. Boo berries? Don't, don't at me either. Seasonal. I've never heard Seasonal. of those. I've honestly, I've honestly never had boo berries. It's Halloween it cereal. Out at Halloween. Cal- yeah, I've never Chocula, had it. Boo Berry. Jordan, your last pick. Frankenberry. I'm going to go with the sleeper here. I'm going to try to get the older uh, generation in on, on this polling. I'm going to go with just some plain Raisin Bran. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Go. Raisin Bran Crunch? Oh, I love Raisin Bran Crunch. Just, I'm just going to go with Raisin Bran. I don't think. Just Raisin uh, Bran. But I do like the Raisin Bran Crunch. Wow. I like yeah. the Raisin Bran Cranberry. I'm I don't so know mad that. about the damn cookie crisp. I'm so mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> I do like me some cookie crisp. The only the reason Reese's I don't Puffs have minis stuff? are fire, the and then the reason... cinnamon toast crunch minis are fire. Ooh. The I only reason that I don't have what cookie crisp is because Josh got the or Bobby got to pick the order. That's the only the reason. Minis... I don't have cookie the minis, they're just smaller. Instead of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like, flat pieces, they're balls. And they're softer, oh, okay. like, to chew. But, like, the Reese's Puffs are always balls, right? And so these the are just smaller balls. Yeah. Oh. And these are just small. They're just smaller to where you can put more in a bowl. And they're not as, like, hard before you put milk on them. You're they're fat. fucking delicious. <laughs> you're fat if you're judging Dude, how much you can put I thought about doing. Uh, I, I thought about doing something like good. the One Bite Challenge, but call it the One Bowl Challenge. <laughs> just here and eat cereal. Yeah. Dude, I would murder some cereal. We should, dude. If we really want to embrace the Chubby Buddies podcast, we need to do food reviews on here. This would be that's what I have that segment for for you and your kids. That's the first start of it. And then I was gonna do like one bite of a bowl, but off camera, I'm gonna eat that whole damn bowl. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised nobody picked Cocoa Pebbles. Like Jordan picked Fruity Pebbles, but nobody picked Cocoa Pebbles. Well, Cocoa Pebbles is just the marshmallow mateys of Cocoa Puffs. No, marshmallow mateys is. No, marshmallow, like Cocoa Puffs is Fruity Pebbles, but chocolate. That's, yeah, I would agree with that. But they're yeah, all just, the little they're ones. all just, not the balls. Yeah, they're, they're like thin little chips. With flavor. That's all they are. They're just rice cookies yeah. with flavor. Yeah. They're delicious. They're magically. magically delicious. I, Jinx, you make Coke. If Mountain Dew. Personal favorites. Code Red. <laughs> my list Live wouldn't look anything like that. Ugh. Because Rice Krispies, Raisin Bran, it's honey bunches of oats. The I eat all bland stuff. That's my favorite stuff. Like when I posted that thing on our Facebook page, like I said, this is the best cereal ever, and nobody's going to change my mind. Josh posted a picture of the cereal that I've never heard of, but it looks like it has maple in it and made me go, oh. Waffle Crunch. It's brand new. It's so good. Waffle Crunch is so good. It looks like waffles. honeycomb. Like waffles. You got to try it. It's like waffles. Are good. It looks like honeycomb. So th- I think it was. I think it was a cereal that was like bought out because for real, like four, three or four years ago, I found a cereal that I loved called Good Mornings. And it was this waffle syrup cereal. And it tasted like maple. tasted great. And then they stopped. They stopped selling it, yeah, selling it, and then like here a year ago, they started selling this waffle crunch, and it's literally the same taste. So hmm. I think they just bought them out and then started selling it under their brand. Well, I do want to thank the listeners for chiming in on this uh, very unorganized, very unorganized episode of the podcast because we Josh's internet shit. Yeah, his internet sucks, but it's all right because. Delayed. You guys are supporting us by listening, hitting subscribe, liking the videos, and commenting. Because that's what we go for is comments. We want you to talk shit. But <clears throat> like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe. Do all the shit that Jordan tells you to do, but times 10. Come back next week. Hopefully we'll have a banger because Jordan will be able to come back and tell us about his experience at a cold-ass football game. Well, and I hope... Only- 
Only if they win, yeah. If, I if we see. lose, I ain't talking shit. About, I ain't saying nothing about it. Are you going to say anything at all in that episode? Fuck no. Not if we don't win. Uh, well, go Chiefs, because we need Jordan to uh, at least talk. Right. Guys, I love you. Love you. Love you. I love you more. I love you. I love, I love you, more. you more. You love me. <laughs> Joshua, I love you too. Hey, hey. I love you both. I love you both very much. So, so cutting out. Oh, I can't hear you. Can you speak up? It's not. Daniel's afraid of affection, so I'm not going to tell him that I love him. Daniel? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, love you. Hey, Daniel. I love you. I love you. I love you all. Bye. 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 Bye.